As I said, we're bouncing around the courses and the countries. We're off to Ferry House now for a three mile, one furlong grade two chase. So Dragon's Cry for Leon van Rensburg, Agent Decoy for Patrick Hogan, Alex Cherry sends two, Arctic Watch and Brooklyn Jean, Vinnie Gerard, Senchi Aerodynamic, Patrick Hogan's second runner, Club Alinge looking to follow up, Daniel French's Desert Kingdom, Darren Thompson's Davila Lake, full scream ahead for Stu Gray, Maiden. First time out, Daniel French, Protector Hayes, Joshua Sutherland's a teacher, Tower Amlets for Pontypool Racing along with Watchtower. Another first time out, El Villar Bean for Vinnie Gerard, David Hooley's Gig Good Queen, Darren Thompson's Haberley, Jewel Flower for Liam Van Rensburg, David Robertson's Lavere Palo Riva, Darryl, uh, Daniel Hooley's Popwell, Daniel Hooley, David Hooley, too many people's names beginning with D. Already racing here, and I think the last one was Vintage Cherub. Craig Beckwith, looking to follow up from winning the Surrey National in the last. He's going to try and take the Bobby Joe Grade 2 chase here at Ferry House. We're through the first half furlong. Taken the first fence, they get to the second. They will clear it. We've got two leaders, Tower Amlets and Dragon's Cry. Although Tower Amlets taking a little bit of a hold and allow Dragon's Cry. He's running centre course bit of better ground into the first of the ditches. We'll clear that as well. So it's Dragon's Cry and Tower Ramlets together as they swing right-handed from Haberley in third, then the teacher and Watchtower and Brooklyn Jean. Out wide is Sentiero Dynamic and all the green silk. Widest of all looks like not sure who that is out there. Wide of all Protector Hayes for Daniel French. And just at the rear vintage cherub Good Queen, as we know, Hooley and Beck with horses, happy to sit at the back and uh, come flying in the last couple of furlongs. But it is Dragon's Cry and Tower Amlets from Abilly and the Teacher, Watchtower and Brooklyn and Jean and Davila Lake and El Villar Ben as they go to the fifth. They'll clear that as well, just the real. Now we've lost one, Senchi Aerodynamic, who's running wide of the wall. So the seat of his rider there. Vinny loses one. He's still got El Villar Bean. He's having his first time out under orders. As they all clear the six. Although they've been well strung out here. My dragons cry and tower ramlets. And on and off the bright a little bit is the teacher. And happily for Dan Daniel Thompson. Darren Thompson. I told you the D's. David Daniel. Dennison. As they get to the seventh. We'll clear that. But as I said, we're well strung out here. It's Dragon's Cry from Tower Amlets, the Teacher Abberley, Watchtower and Davila Lake are together, and then the green silks of El Villar Bean, yellow silks of Agent Decoy, and then Lavier. And we've lost one, and it's Vintage Cherub that's gone for Craig Beckwith. Might be following up from his win in the last. Just at the rear, a Desert Kingdom and Protractor Hayes. Dual Flower. Queen and Club and Inch. A couple of lengths away from full scream ahead is the tail of probably the third pack, but it's this Dragon's Cry. Got a three length advantage from Tower Amlets and the Teacher. A few back to Habberley and Davila Lake for Darren Thompson. As they go over the ninth, they all clear that one. Pecked on landing there was Good Queen at the rear. There must be 20 lengths between first and last. Dragon's Sky has dragged them out. With just a mile and a half to go. From the teacher and tower amulets in second and third. Then Abilene to get to this ditch. Leads are over it. So is the rest. Could jump at the rear there by Desert Kingdom, but uh, doesn't really improve him. So Dragon's Cry, tower amulets, the teacher and Abilene. Villar, Ben and Davila Lake as they clear the 11th board jump there, this time by Protractor Hayes at the rear. They're fighting out who can jump the worst at the rear there between Desert Kingdom and Protractor Hayes. Although Desert Kingdom did jump one good one. But Dragon's Kai now finally being headed by Tower Amlets, although Tower Amlets made a mistake and Dragon's Cry just pulls two lengths away again. Tower Amlets going to try and close that gap with the teacher. Over the 13th, that's seven from home. Bit of a mistake there by Haberley. Shuffles back. Dragon's Cry trying to make every post a winning one. A mile left to travel. From 
Tower Hamlets and the Teacher. And Villar Ben. Well, we've lost one there, and it's Brooklyn Jean that's gone for Alex Cherry. And Lucky, he's only runner in the race. Oh no, you've got one at the back there. Sorry, Arctic Watch. Watching all the others as they get to the 15th. That's five from home now. We'll get over that. Six furlong pole on Dragon's Cry says, let's go for home and pick up the pace from Tower Amnes in second. The teacher is third. El Villar, Ben and Lavier Palariva. A fourth and fifth running out of the pack now is Haberley. Popwell's trying to pick up. Watchtown's got a little bit to do. Up on the inside is Leon van Rensburg's dual flower as they go over the 16th. They will clear it and it is Dragon's Cry. But here comes Tower Ramblitz, the teacher of Josh Sutherland's making a good move now inside the final half furlong and it's final half mile and it's Dragon's Cry and the teacher as they go over the 17th together. Running on well is Lavier, Pala, Riva, Tower Ramblitz is going backwards, Haverly, Watchtower and Elvillar, Ben have all got to pick up from there. We're inside the final three and it's still this Dragon's Cry. Still holding off Lavier, Pala, Riva and the teacher. Haverly still trying to make up ground, Tower Ramblitz and the Watchtower, but Dragon's Cry has not been headed yet as we come inside the final quarter mile. Here comes Lavier Palariva as they go over the penultimate and it's Dragon's Cry and Lavier Palariva. We've lost to Vila Lake there and it's Dragon's Cry and Lavier Palariva. Dragon's Cry still got a bit more left as they go over the 19th a little bit slow but so was Lavier Palariva and it's Dragon's Cry moving well on the outside is this newcomer El Villar Ben but it's Dragon's Cry has held everybody off. He's going to win the Bobby Joe Chase grade two here. Fast finishing first time out of Villar Ben from Jewel Flower and the teacher. Good win there for Leon Varensberg. Must be cutting into Josh Sutherland's numbers here. And the national hunt champion trainer. Good win there for Leon Varensberg. Pill at the post win with Dragon's Cry. Oh, Villar Bean. First time out coming in second and a grade two. It's going to be 130, I should think, from the handicapper. Jewel Flower for Leon Van Rensburg was third. The teacher for Josh Sutherland was fourth, and Lavier Palariva, mistake at the last, ended up in fifth.